right guys so I know my voice is coming in late but now that we're done I'm just fixing the braid and then I'm just going to kind of widen the braid with my fingers just trying to make sure the braid is in the middle and then I'm going to stitch it okay so if you don't think this technique is you know um, natural looking enough for you and you want something more natural looking and you don't really care about talking or even using colored hair um, I'm going to show you a more natural way to do this because this is not the first time I'm doing this feeding technique but the first time I did it I actually showed a more natural way to do it and you can also do this crochet feeding method for smaller feeding braids so this kind this size I did right now is kind of big but if you want the size smaller you could do it as well um, but I'm going to show you the extra segments that I recorded at the end of this video but right now I'm just stitching the braid and just kind of join them together so that the braids could stay in the middle. cute I love the color on her it's so pretty so this is the extra segment right the first time I did this crochet feeding technique I actually showed a more natural way to do it and to do it the natural way you're going to leave her natural hair out in front and on both sides okay and that's what I'm doing right now so I'm going to do a small braid in between her natural hair and I'm going to feed in the braiding hair inside of this small braid and you could do this for small feeding braids big feeding braids whatever size you want to do so I start off by braiding her natural hair and then I braid her natural hair and the braiding hair that I fed into the middle braid and this is just going to look more natural if you don't like what we did in the beginning of this video but the only thing with this doing it this way is that you don't really get to tuck in the natural hair the natural hair is going to show if you're using colored braiding hair okay it's going to look like you mixed it but if you don't want it to look like you mix it then do the the technique we did for the stitch braid without leaving any natural hair out on both sides
this is what it looks like for smaller fitting braids to make your fitting braid look more natural with your braiding hair so i hope this was helpful make sure you like this video subscribe and i'll see you next time